Hello, my name is Nazina Safer Yas. I am from University of Mons in Belgium. I'm going to present you my research for this virtual conference, IEEE Sensors 2020. Let's share you my poster. So this is my poster. Um, I am going to show you the comparison of regenerated fiber bright gratings properties in standard and born germanium coded single mode silica fibers. Uh, we regenerate uh, both FPG and TFPGs inscribed in uh, a standard SMF fiber and in PS born germanium coded uh, fiber. And uh, we show the uh, regenerated TFPG inscribed in SMF fiber. Um, can be applied for harsh environment and uh, surround, uh, sensing of surrounding refractive index. And uh, PS uh, TFPG uh, regenerated um, at lower temperature and has a noisy uh, cladding modes, which is not possible to use for uh, sensing application. So in general, uh, this is the structure of FPG and TFPG. TFPG is uh, very similar uh, with FPG, just uh, modulation um, uh, refractive index plate uh, or tilted respect to the optical axis. So TFPG uh, able, is able to um, sense surrounding refractive index uh, due to the cladding modes propagate in the cladding and come in contact with the uh, interference of the cladding and the surrounding medium. And for high temperature sensing, we regenerate the gratings, uh, which are UV inscribed by um, this Nuria lasers in our lab. And this is our result of a, a thermal regeneration of gratings. We use this experimental setup and with uh, um, isochronal uh, thermal profile uh, uh, for regeneration both uh, gratings in SMF and in uh, PS fiber, uh, we could um, success for uh, gratings both FPG and TFPG in SMF fiber to, to regenerate with this kind of uh, thermal profile and the cladding modes in the um, uh, TFPG is regenerate and um, they, they obtain this uh, regeneration sensitivity, uh, regeneration efficiency. Uh, for SMF inscribed grating. And for PS fiber gratings, we could uh, uh, regenerate FPG by isochronal uh, thermal process up to 600 degrees Celsius, but uh, TFPG in PS fiber didn't regenerate. So we applied another profile stepwise up to lower temperature and we could uh, regenerate TFPG also in PS fiber, but the uh, efficiency of uh, regeneration for PS fiber, uh, TFPG PS fiber is uh, lower than the uh, regeneration efficiency of TFPG in SMF fiber. And uh, otherwise, uh, other, uh, and also uh, FPG, regener um, FPG regenerated at uh, lower temperature in PS fiber with higher efficiency. So for uh, application, uh, we propose to use a regenerated PS fiber FPG uh, for high temperature sensing and also for strength sensing because of applying lower temperature, it um, can uh, preserve the mechanical stability of the fiber. Uh, but for high temperature sensing, we, uh, we can use uh, F regenerated FPG in SMF fiber up to 1000 degrees Celsius. And for chemical and physical sensing at high temperatures, uh, regenerated TFPG in SMF are possible candidates, whereas uh, regenerated TFPG in PS fiber are not usable due to the noisy and small cladding regenerated modes. Okay, the, the, this was our uh, uh, research and thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening this uh, presentation. Have a good day.